I am extremely bad at Q&A. So last time I asked you guys about questions, I thought I was gonna do a Q&A. That was July the 5th and I never ended up doing anything with it. So today, because living like Casey day three, I thought it would be kind of appropriate, A, to do his Q&A because they're amazing. And then B, because I haven't done one for so long and you guys keep asking and I've just been too nervous and weirded out by the fact that maybe you guys actually wanna know stuff about me. So I'm just gonna suck it up, finally get out of my head and just do it just as Casey does. He just does it. So without further ado, roll that intro. Dog pissed in my helmet. <laughs> and I'm meant to wear that helmet for the driving pass shots in the uh, for the intro. <laughs> no. How unreal is that? That's so freaking beautiful. This whole area, rice fields everywhere, trees behind me. They're called palm trees, Sorel. I forgot what they were. This is such a beautiful area. Gosh, and I'm literally, my house is just there. This is, I never came out here. This is nice. Hmm. Adventures. How do you eliminate negativity and motivate yourself during low times? People work differently, so you can't expect one motivation to work for everything. What I found over years of refining and testing things is that I actually need a schedule. If I don't have a schedule, I don't produce the work. So that personally works for me to just get stuff done even though I don't want to do it. And how do I eliminate negativity? I don't really, I think negativity is actually a really beautiful thing and it assists you in knowing if you're on the right path or not. For example, so this challenge with Casey actually couldn't have come at a better time because I was actually in a bit of a slump with my videos. Every single time I was due to make a video, I would get angry. I was angry, I was moody, I was annoyed at everything. I, I started researching into these feelings, thinking about like why this could be happening. And I noticed that I wasn't really happy with the type of content I was producing. I really wanted to make some changes to that. And so I did. And this week has just like allowed me to stop overthinking everything and just do the things that I've wanted to do for a long time because I don't have time to question. I just have to get it done. So utilizing negativity to me is actually a beautiful thing and you have to harness it instead of getting rid of it. That's just a crazy idea. You can't get rid of negativity. I don't believe that. I think you can maybe control it a little bit, but not eliminate it. So many questions about this. How long were you in Poland? Why Poland? When were you in Poland? I don't think I've ever talked about this. This is something that I kind of wasn't putting at the forefront. I don't know why there wasn't any reason why I wasn't talking about it, but I lived in Poland when I was five to 11. Six years I spent there. My family is actually entirely Polish and a little bit Russian. So my background is completely Polish, but I am first generation Australian. So if anyone's always confused why I mentioned Poland, Australia, it's because I'm Australian Polish. Apparently I can't look forward to Today, otherwise my little mosquito bites are gonna attempt to escape. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> what moment in your life pushed you to find courage to do what you want to do? I think the biggest driver for me is actually death, surprisingly enough. I'm just concerned that one day I'll wake up and I'll have wasted my life away and not live the way that I wanted to. And that really scares me because this chance to live is just so beautiful and to see the entire world, like the idea that I have to stay in one spot and do the same thing and not have stories to tell, ooh. That scares me. Should I start doing advanced selfies? Although, if you wanna feel great about yourself, you should definitely start doing advanced selfies. Link in bio for Advanced Selfie University. <laughs> Do you even know or at least understand how inspiring you are to those who haven't managed to live their dreams yet? <laughs> this is gonna sound wild, but I actually don't at all really comprehend what is going on with this online social media thing. I just, I think I freak out a bit too much if I think about it. And when people meet me, I'm just like, I don't understand why you even want to say hi to me. Like, it's really weird. Not that I'm ungrateful, it's not that I'm shy. It's just like a bit of a shock every single time that I see people follow me and they respond to my work. I don't know why. Maybe it's imposter syndrome. I'm not really sure, but it's weird to me. But in the same breath, I know that I am meant to be in this space. I always knew that I was meant to be in this space. So I, this is a dream come true. I knew that this was important for me, but I think it's not about me. I think it's about the message of living your life. I'm already getting awkward because this is too corny. Okay, bye. Say hi. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> How do you personally try to cut out plastic? Huh, complete video about this coming tomorrow. Who, what is the main drive behind what you do? You're so successful, I wanna know what drives you. Uh, well, definition of success varies for everyone. For me, what drives me is, one of the things that's a little bit strange for me to say, and I'm hesitant to say it because there's a lot of negative connotation around it, but I'll say it and you guys take it as you like. It's money, one of them is money because I never really had that much money when we were young and I saw what that did to our family and to people's health and so forth. So for me, I wanna have money so I can look after my family, my health, and just be able to do whatever I want whenever I want and have freedom. Freedom is so important to me. I guess that could be the second thing that drives me, freedom. And the last thing would be purpose because I wanna make sure that I'm doing the absolute best with the gifts that I've been given and helping as many people as possible. This isn't really a question, but Liam pointed something out to me earlier before and he said, just a year ago, I was that girl with a crappy plastic tripod and a secondhand Nikon camera that was falling apart. And now I've got beautiful camera, the Sony with two lenses, two lenses. And I'm traveling world doing such amazing things. And it's just so cool to reflect that you have to start somewhere and not really know what you're doing with your equipment.
don't have really crappy equipment and then upgrade. It's beautiful to see that. So this is an opportunity for me to say thank you for even caring to watch my stuff and be interested in it and be here on the journey with me as I evolve as a YouTuber. It is 6 p.m. That means it is time for family time. We are on our way to Sasa. I haven't done salsa ever. I haven't done anything like this before, so I'm so excited. Less work, more fun. She's excellent. So sexy. It's such. <laughs> That's the sexiest. Okay. <laughs> It's very difficult. <laughs> I'm just on a family dinner, family time, and I shouldn't be recording because I'm meant to be spending time with them, but I just had this interesting insight. I remember when I was doing my speech at Power of Video and Cody, when I was speaking, someone from the audience asked him. So how do you do every single day? Like, I have find a hard one week. That's actually what's making it hard for you to create. Just one a week? Yeah. If you did daily or twice a day, you should do two videos a day. <laughs> I'm 100% serious. You legit, you, you're not creating enough. You're getting out of the headspace and you're procrastinating, which is something that I, I do all those things. I didn't understand what he was talking about. I was like, um, if you have a slump, there's no way you could possibly do daily videos. That's insane. But I get it now. Like I was just experiencing a slump. It was super, super hard for me to create any videos. I was overthinking everything. And now I have a challenge, create or fail. <laughs> and I'm like, whoa, okay. So I'm choosing to create every single day and I'm so re-inspired and I'm loving it and I'm capable of creating so much, which I never thought I was going to be able to do seven videos in seven days. That's blowing my mind that I'm keeping up with the schedule. It's only day three, but I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll make it all the way through. So at the gym again, nine o'clock, I'm pumping those weights. Doing the arm things today is really exhausting. I was going to continue the Q&A, but I got one more question out of my camera. So a question that I get often asked, and I have a couple here, is do I want to have kids? And it's such a strange and annoying question because I don't see many guys getting asked this question. And right frustrates me because it's like is there nothing else that we want to talk about like as a girl I don't talk about this stuff ever <laughs> so it doesn't matter that's my answer this was incredibly fun this Q&A so much fun creating the um, intro <laughs> we had so much fun so many things went wrong but I loved it so much but I'm exhausted even that little sequence was so much work <laughs> well done Casey for everything you do you smart guy you smart guy but I'm signing off thank you so much this is day three of living like Casey as I said it's not gonna be exactly what Casey does but today I thought I would drop in the Q&A because it is his signature thing that he does used to do more so thank you so much for watching guys this is my Instagram if you would like to see more and and hold on to day seven when the recap of this whole living like Casey thing is coming through. It's gonna be really cool. The insights I've gotten from living this lifestyle, 